Okay, so I'm going to make some uh, lentil bargies, and I've got here some dal lentils, uh, some yellow split peas, and I've soaked these overnight. And you don't have to soak them overnight, you can soak them for about an hour, that's fine, but I just happen to soak them overnight. So they're sort of really quite soft now, and this will allow me to cook them for about 10 minutes, should be enough. We just want them to cook so they're slightly tender, um, and that's what we're going to do with these lentils. Okay, so we've got these uh, lentils in some water now, I'm just going to bring this to the boil and cook them for about 10 minutes, just until they're slightly tender. Okay, so as it starts to come to the boil, you'll notice now all this scum at the top. And this is all the impurities from the lentils. And what you really want to do, you don't want to stir this back in, you want to skim it off. So just get yourself a slotted spoon and just skim off all the foam. And you can just do that periodically over the 10 minutes that it's cooking for. Just to get rid of all this, because there's all the dirt and oil and grit and all the things that are on them that you want to just kind of get off before you go into cooking. Okay, so these now have had about 15 minutes and you see they've just now softened and they're tender all the way through and so we're going to stop the cooking there and we're going to drain them now and let them cool. So I've got this giant red cabbage here um, which I'm going to cut a quarter of so we're going to cut out like a quarter section out of it like this All we've got then is that quarter piece and this we are going to sort of very thinly slice this way and we're just going to cut all the way down like this just to get nice and thin, thin as you possibly can, you can use a mandolin for this if you want and just remember to take out the core as well so you're not cutting that up, that's quite important, don't forget that. And just cut this all the way through, thin little slivers. Okay, so this is our cabbage, and it's now been uh, finely shredded, and you can see it comes out, it's quite a lot. So what we want to do, to make sure that for our bargees it's not all, because uh, the bargees aren't going to take long to cook, so it's going to be quite firm. We don't want really anything too crunchy going in there, so we're going to just cook this a little bit first, and we're going to do that in a pan, just to soften it up slightly with a lid, um, and then we'll have something that's a little more tender that we can put into the batter. Alright, so I've got my uh, wok here, which is ideal for this, and I've just got a little bit of oil in that. And so what I'm going to do now is start adding the cabbage. Um, and I've just heated that oil a little bit first, so I'm just chucking in the cabbage now. And we're going to toss that around a little bit in there first. And then we're going to add a lid. So just make sure that's kind of coated. And you're just going to cook this for about four, five minutes, something like that. And then we're going to put a lid on. Sorry, in that five minutes, we're going to make sure the lid is on so that that softens um, just a little. You don't want it mushy or anything like that, just a little bit softer so that in the final cooking, it'll be tender. Okay, so this is cooked enough now. It's just a little bit softer. It's not soft. And that will give us enough leeway to mix it in with the batter then. Okay, so now I just want to peel and grate. I've got a large carrot here. I'm just going to peel this and then grate it. And this is going to go into the batter as well. This is the last of the veg then to go into the batter. Okay, so that's our grated carrot ready to go in the batter. Okay, so I've got here 400 grams of chickpea flour. I'm going to add to that, I'm going to start with 500 ml of water. I'm going to whisk that in to get a sort of reasonably smooth batter. It doesn't have to be 100% smooth. We'll see if we need any more liquid after the 500. Okay, so now we're going to start flavouring the batter. So I'm going to add four good tablespoons of vegan plain yoghurt. Okay, 
about a teaspoon and a half of salt and I'm using the pink Himalayan salt here. This is two heat teaspoons of ground turmeric. So I'm put that in there. Now this is three heap tablespoons of mild madras curry powder which you can get as a blend in the supermarket. Just look in the sort of world food section of the supermarket and you'll find that. A quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're just going to whisk all of that in and get that beautiful flavour to go right through the batter. Okay, so that's our batter ready and it has this kind of sort of medium pancake batter consistency if you can see there just to give you an idea of what you're looking for okay so our cooked lentils can go in and they've been totally cooled now and we can stir those in Now the grated carrot. And finally, the slightly cooked cabbage. I'm just gonna put into there. Obviously this is gonna change the color of the batter slightly because it's intense purple. Colour. That shouldn't go too much. Just stir it gently. Make sure it's all mixed in. And this is our lentil bhaji mix. And we're going to fry that now. Okay, so I've got my wok here and I filled it with um, vegetable oil to just about an inch and a half, something like that. So it's about a quarter full. You don't want any, any full in the quarter because it's going to rise when you put the, uh, the batter in. So we're going to test to see if it's hot enough by putting a little bit of batter in and it should sort of sizzle. Yep, it is starting to sizzle there. So I'd say I'm going to give it another minute just to make sure of heat in 40 seconds and then we're going to start to cook them. Okay, so now we're going to get quite a generous spoonful of the batter and just place it. And you can, as you place it in, you can start then to mould it into shape. So we're going to do a couple of these, like this. And just mould them into shape a little bit. And let's do, let's do four. I think four will be okay. another one there oops and separate them out okay so we're just gonna sort of roughly shape these and they're not gonna be round they're gonna be sort of slightly flatter than round and we're just gonna cook these through a little bit and see how we do okay so these have had about three or four minutes on that side and I just want to turn them over use a slotted spoon to do that and we'll just cook them on the other side About another three or four minutes there as well. Okay, so that's had about eight minutes in total. So I'm just going to lift them out now, and I'm just put them. I've got a towel on a plate, uh, which can help to drain them off. So I'm just going to drain off as much as I can here, and then just put them onto the towel to finish draining off. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cook the whole batch and uh, get as much of this out as we can as well. I'm just going to cook the whole batch that we've made, and then we're going to finish them off afterwards in the oven. All right, so we've got a batch of the bhajis um, all set up now on a tray. Now they've had their sort of eight minutes or so in the fryer. So now we're just going to finish them off in the oven. Um, we're going to give them about 10 minutes on gas seven, uh, just to, you know, cook them through, crisp them up a little bit and have them ready to serve. So these are the finished bhajis. They've had like about 10 minutes now in the oven and they are perfect, ready for serving. And you can have these with, say, a little bit of yogurt and mint, um, serve them with any kind of curry that you want. Um, Yep, that's it. Beautifully crisp, soft, light, and lentil bhajis.